Hello everyone and welcome back to another adventure of West Lothian. I hope you're all having a rude hootin', bean slinging, gun toting, uh, goblin speaking, cow cow tipping adventure good of a time in this series because we're nearing the end, I think, because we don't have that many quests left to do besides go straight to Frisco, which we're gonna do in this episode. We're gonna see the new promised land of Frisco. For Frisco. For, 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 for Frisco. 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 But first, I'm gonna take a look at Dirtwater because there's been a lot of people that we've met over the course of this time and sent them over to Dirtwater to set up shop. And I wanna see what they've done for themselves. There's Cactus Bob. How you doing? Howdy say, I don't reckon you found a cactus lady yet. Oh, not yet, Bill. Sorry. Well, that's okay. Take your time. I ain't got nowhere. <laughs> see you later then, Bill. I don't know where we would find a cactus for Bill, but, uh,. Let's see, is there anyone who has set up a new shop in town? Ooh. So there's one. I don't remember this boot shop being here. That's the guy from the, um, that weird fort full of the hippies, right? Yeah. They set up a boot shop with the, with the L's. Uh, not available at that point. So no one else set up shop over here? I thought we sent a lot more people over here, unless I, unless I just kind of overlooked them. Oh yeah, Liquid Brewing Co. The jail. So we sent two people over here, I guess, and they set up shop. Can we buy some boots? Hey there, man. Oh, hey, hi. Nice to see you again. Hey, uh, did you elves make the trip okay? Oh, sure, yeah, no problem at all. Like, uh, I've been seeing them less and less since the move, though. I've been, uh, making some boots myself just to help them out. Oh, well, that's real nice to you. What can I, um, what can I get for you? Show me your goods. Ooh, boot polish. Well, let me see, add three speed. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Help me attack faster. What is this? Maximum AP and one spell damage. Whoa, what are my boots like? I don't even know what boots I have on. Are those better than my my boots? I don't know. What are these? Tony's shooting boots, I don't think I need that. Um, Yeah, pistol damage. Maximum AP, 11 melee attack. Uh, if anything, I'd buy these ones, but I don't know if they're better than mine. 11 spell damage. I think I read that as one, because you guys know, I'm the best reader there is around these these parts with a lot of them. Right, and maximum AP. I think those are pretty good. I don't have enough meat. I do not have anywhere near enough meat. That is, uh, that's a darn shame. Alright, I'll come back later to inspect your boots. Let's see what the, the Brewing Co. has. Hello, how you guys doing? Oh, hey, it's you. Thanks for telling me about this place instead of arresting me or shooting me in the head and then arresting me. Oh, no problem. I'm <laughs> really a bounty hunter anyway. Just looking to help people out. Oh, well, you sure did help me out. I really appreciate this opportunity and things are going pretty well. Not a single yeast must you yet. <laughs> the bootmaker moved in next door, so I'm trying out boots the recipes. I don't know how well it's gonna work out for you. No, don't worry. It doesn't have boots in it. Oh, okay, good. I just take them out. Ah, <sighs> alright. Sounds interesting. Yep. Show me your goods. Oh. Athletic Amber. Brain, brainy Brown. That sounds like it'd be for me. Greasy Mixicality by 7. Whoa, that's pretty good. But that's a lot of meat. I feel like that's, that's something I would want for like a, a big, big boss fight type deal. But that is... It is interesting that the more people you help, the more good stuff you have to buy. What is this? LB Cool Kolsk? Kolsk? Increase your moxie by seven for the rest of the day. And Bronto Pinsler increases your speed for nine. Ooh, those are all pretty good. What's the athletic game? Increases your muscle by seven, okay. That's actually pretty good. See, doing good helps you out in return. So you, you don't even have to think about it as helping others. You can just think of it as helping yourself indirectly. See, <laughs> that sounds really bad. Now I know there's a ton of places we haven't yet explored, but as of right now, we don't have that many side quests to do, and I kind of want to go see Frisco. So, I'm going to go head out there, and maybe we'll come back and do all the other locations and see what they have to offer. But right now, we need to see Frisco. Who is interrupting my Frisco travels? All right, you find an abandoned crate full of mining supplies. You can tell it's full of mining supplies because it says this crate is full of mining supplies. Penciled on the side of it. Open it with my handy dandy crowbar. Nice, we got some smelling salts and a thermostat of spiked coffee. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I love coming back to this game just because the humor is just so amazing. Oh, hello. Frisco City Limit. We made it to Frisco. 
It's your partner. All right, what's going on here, Shmi? Oh, well, the fancy pants calls himself the Emperor. And he won't let us build our tracks up to the station. You can see if you can talk some sense into him. Okay, I'll go talk to the Emperor. Gary, what do you have to say about this predicament? Oh, oh, letting him find a place. A good place. What? Where? A custard standing. A, a, a what? Jeez, I should use this by now. I really should. You discovered a new map location. The last custard stand. <laughs> okay. All right. We can go there. We can go there whenever. Oh gosh. Oh hell. To Frisco. And hello to Smee again. Yeah. Yeah. Hello to Smee. I gotta go. Are you the Emperor? Hey man. How's it going? You uh got a sick beard going on. Can I just walk past you? Oh, I can. Oh, so we can go into Frisco. But this guy's not letting us build our our tracks. We're like right there. Is everyone can just get off the track? I'm not gonna argue anymore with this game. Hey, who the heck are you? I'm the Emperor Norton, and I'm in charge of this city. And you can't build any train tracks here without my permit. We we pretty much did. They're they're very close. You you kind of failed your job's Emperor just a little bit. As it happens, I lost my dang crown. The whole thing didn't fit all right anyway, but without it, I can't issue any official permits, and that means no rails for you. Unless, of course, you were to give me a new crown, I probably fit in one. All right, I don't have any crowns on me, just in my back pocket, so I guess I'm gonna have to go find him. Hmm, well, I guess that there's Terry's a donut. So, not only do you have to not get that permit, but also, he reaches into his pocket, grabs a handful of powder, she throws in your face, your eyes burn. Ha ha, I'm tasting my famous anti-virus sucker. What? Why? Why do you have, how did you even make that virus? Why? What? Why would you do that? If you just asked somebody to go get something for you, why would you poison them with your anti-virus? What was that? Oh, when you come to it, Norn is gone. So is the train. Uh oh. What the? F is this just? Is this just how my game is from now on? Uh, that lunatic stole it. He drove it off somewhere into the desert. Nor has gone off the rails. What? I thought this dude just wanted a crown. I thought it was gonna just be an easy like, oh, just go find a crown somewhere in this crazy wild world and just give it back to him. But no, the dude pulls out an virus and then steals our train Gary Smee do you guys not stop him oh, he points to a set of deep ruts up to the side of the railroad track oh so he really did go off the rails you walk over to investigate but you can't see it because it's this weird hexagon thing your eyes are doing oh you should probably get that checked out boss the northern fella said something about an antivirus maybe someone around here knows something about that yeah probably probably not what <laughs> Gary, this is the worst. Oh no, Gary's hearing a me saying antivirus. This is terrible, for real. Everything looks really weird and is making me dizzy. Goblin doctors are using honey to curing a lot of bad sicknesses. Maybe needing a honey power? Where would we find that? Oh, oh, Roy Bean's special honey gene belly having. <laughs> I didn't read that right at all. Oh, oh, Roy Bean special honey jelly beans having. Well. That's one hell of a coincidence, but it's worth a shot. Best get going then. So I gotta go speak to- Okay, Spooky, can you chill out there for a second? I'm gonna go see if Roy Jellybean has anything that he can sell us that uh will cure my anti-virus thing. Why did he just have that in his pocket? Of all things. Oh, what? What just happened? Your travels are interrupted by a fairly disturbing sight. A skeleton covered with weird glowing mushrooms, which is shambling towards you, making angry <laughs> hissing sound and weird gestures. Hiss, hiss, uh, hiss, uh, gestures. Weird. Is that a goblin skeleton or something? Gross. No, I was just thinking, you know, because because of the mushrooms. <laughs> yes, can see that, but no. Fight, surrender, crutch his belly. <laughs> Oh, his spell cast. God damn it. Correct his spell casting. Just do it and get me out of this already. Uh, oh, no, no, no. You're getting these gestures all wrong. You're not accounting for your arms being lighter than normal, so the momentum is all out of kilter. This? I'll demonstrate without actually casting any spells. 
Watch closely. You wave your arms in a complicated pattern, which Skeleton observes, and then duplicates. The spell cues all the mushrooms to explode. <laughs> him apart. No, that's sad. I thought we were going to make a friend, an apprentice, teach him our ways of bean slinging. We got a mushroom covered bone. Nice. Maybe we can give that to the weird hippie in the fort. Roy, Roy Bean, you have anything to cure? Oh god, this is, it's just, just weird. This envision, has my head always been that big? You guys, you guys see that? When I passed it. That, that's that's disturbing. I, whoa, I need this fixed ASAP. Hey, howdy, Fozzie. Thanks again for helping me get back all those jelly beans. Don't mention it. Is this the the honey bean? There's a single yellow jelly bean in this case with a sign that says Peregrine Murder Bee Honey Jelly Bean. If this is really gonna cure me, I would say I'd be surprised, but this game is throwing enough curveballs at me to know that I shouldn't be. Very rare, 6,000 meat, Roy walks over. Does this jelly bean actually really cost 6,000 meat? Well, normally it does, yes, but I guess seeing as how you help me out with all of them bandits and goblins and damn dirty hippies, let's call it our, uh, five. Five? Five meat, really? Yeah, I reckon. Better buy it in a hurry before I change my mind. Buy it! Buy it! Even if it doesn't cure anything, that's a, that's a really good deal! You lost five meat, you hand over the meat. You almost feel bad because of the discount. You got a honey jelly bean. Nice. Take your leave. So is this actually gonna cure me? Is actually is this actually gonna cure my my ant virus? Rare expensive jelly bean made from the honey of a peregrine murder bee. Eat it. You eat the jelly bean and your vision immediately clears. <gasps> yes. Modern medicine is really amazing. I don't know if that's considered medicine. We just ate a random jelly bean. It could have been all but malarkey. Who would have really known? Gary, thank you again. Jelly beans? What are jelly beans? Oh, the little fruit rocks. Uh, what what should we do next, Gary? What we should we should be doing next? Hooray! Your eyes are looking much better. Yeah, they're uh, looking much better too. Uh, what? Ha! <laughs> Ever fine. Let's get after that Ember Norton guy. Let's get into back to Frisco to trail finding. Yeah, let's go do it. So. I legitimately couldn't see the trail before, but now with my my vision restored, I can go back to what, what did I just click on? I feel like I just traveled somewhere and I don't know where I traveled to. A large man with a large hammer <laughs> interrupts your journey by leaping out from behind a rock and shouting, "You damn ghost! You <laughs> get me? I'll hammer you back into the grave where you belong." Well, that's <laughs> a new one. Ah, oh, oh, I could have calmed him down. I needed a fox in five. I should level up some, by the way. I have a lot of experience that I forgot about. Ugh. If I had level, mm, if I had leveled it up, would have been out foxed them. All right, let's just let's just get the fighting over with. That is a very yeah. large hammer. If I do say, oh my God, Gary's dead. Okay, jeez, man, calm down. And bam, nice. I had to use all of my dynamite on that because he was one shotting all of my friends and I didn't want any of that. Ooh, I got this construction sledgehammer. Nice. All right, so did we go to the custard shack? Yep, I accidentally clicked on the custard shack. Maybe my mind was just telling me that I wanted to go here because I really did. <laughs> Hello, fine sir. Gary, what do you have to say about this? Do you like custard? Ooh, a tiniest house. It's not a house, it's like a booth for selling things from. Ooh, selling the man? What, no, no he's, he's the merchant, he's the, he's selling the merchandise. Aha, uh -huh. Gary is knowing. Just to kidding. Man is to selling. Catch, cat shards? That's a, very close to being correct. I'm, I'm really proud. <laughs> okay, hi. Well, howdy there. Welcome to the last custard stand. I'm C Custard Man Stan, and I make custard like only Custard Man Stan can. Can you try some? Tell me about your custard stand, Custard Man Stan. Oh, not much to tell. Just a plain, honest custard stand selling plain, honest custard. But it's the last one? Like, the last one before you got to Frisco? Or, oh, the last one in the whole territory. Heck, the last one in the whole world, so far as I know. But I can't swear to that. Hmm, are you sure it isn't the first? <laughs> yep, because the first one was also mine. It was further up north. The whole day operation was ate by wasps. Stand and all. Oh, hmm. Give me, give me some sweet custard. Ooh, those are expensive. Um, what's the chocolate custard do? Oh, Christy Moxie was Christy's mysticality. 
increases muscle. So I get this and the beer from the, the brewing guy in dirt water, I can get like a lot of mysticality for a day. That's a that's a lot that's a lot to consider. We have to fight anyone important, which is probably gonna be the Emperor, if I had to guess. Ooh, what is this? Harvest? Nice. If I had to guess, we're probably gonna need this stuff when we go fight the Emperor, because he's a little crazy and has viruses that he can use against us. Alright, back to Frisco to find ourselves a trail, to go find ourselves a train, to go find ourselves a crazy emperor. Who is this? A thin stream of smoke that was over the hill indicates a nearby campfire, so he decided to check it out. It turns out instead to be a man strolling around nonchalantly. He's wearing a top hat which is on fire. Hey, Mr. He has on fire. Yes, I know. You, you don't seem particularly bothered by that. Well, I don't think panicking would have done anything. I guess you have a point. But still, uh, so what's your deal? My deal? Well, I'm an artist. Ah, uh, I see. So this is some kind of performance art thing? Huh? Oh, you mean the hat? Oh, no. That's just coincidence. I'm a painter. Oh, I'll try to convince him to take the hat off. Alright. Oh, I could fight. Oh, I need to level up my boxing. No! No, I don't want to leave! I don't want to leave. Oh, I should have oh, I should have leveled up on foxing. So you need to take that hat off. You'll hurt your brain, perhaps. But think of how handy it'll be for reading a night. <laughs> Let's just fight. Gah! But what if I leave? Could I find him again in the world? If I fight him, I'll just kill him. If I leave, will I be able to encounter him again? Randomly out throughout the world. I don't want to fight him. I feel like that would be pointless. I feel like I'm gonna give up and just hope I find him again. That might be stupid, but ooh, take time and leave. All right, I need a level about boxing. It's just, it's just too, too useful at this point. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? A boxing, a thousand experience, but I do have a thousand one hundred, so I have a little bit left over, and I'm gonna level up safe cracking. Because I'm pretty sure there was a safe in the fort that I could go safe crack if I had that. So, I still have a little bit of experience left. So, that's good. But now we have our Foxing 5, which the Fox has been pretty useful for perks so far. So, hey, Smee, you have any uh, clues? You get that train back? It's embarrassing. Smee points to that set of deep ruts off to the side of the trail. No one's taking the train off somewhere in that desert. You have to follow him. Hmm, I'll see what I can do. Do I have any map locations? No? Huh. So, do I have to investigate something? I can't see any. Oh, there. Alright. Follow the tracks. <laughs> Jump onto Spooky T's back and ride like the wind following the railroad tracks back into the desert. Why would he just back up on the track? I'm not going to question this anymore. Back in the desert. When you finally catch up, you stand on Spooky Tina's saddle and leap onto the back of the train like a real badass. Just barely catching the edge of the roof and pulling yourself up. He was hoping you don't have to do that again. Your son man could have been killed. <laughs> oh damn it. He looks like Gary decided not to join you. Oh, I'm kind of not having a stunt man. So you're on your own until you get back on Frisco. Huh. Oh god. It's the Emperor. What should I do? Should I fight him? Well, there's a ladder here. Should I climb down the ladder first? It's the leading into the train car below. Should I fight him? Oh. I stole this train fair and square. <laughs> um, I fight him? <laughs> You're feeling neither fair nor square. Take the train back by force. Let me investigate, because if it says by force, I feel like there's another way that can trade the train back without using force. Ooh. Wow. Oh, safe cracking five. Uh, anything else in here? No. Can I go out here? Let's join the next car, and it's locked. Hmm. An unpickable plot brand lock. I feel like I need safe cracking five. I feel like this is this is important. How much would that cost me? That'd be a lot of experience. But is it worth it to not fight the guy? Like, what if I don't fight him? Does that lead to like a different ending? Because obviously the keys to the next card are in that safe lock because it says keys on it. There's no question about what's in that safe. There's the keys to this next card. But what's in the next card is a mystery. It could be anything. I don't I don't really know. But I don't know if I want to fight the guy. What if what if it's important to not fight him? 
I'm gonna leave this up to you guys to decide what I should do. Should I just fight this guy, or should I try and level up safe cracking and see what's in the next card? I don't know if it's important. I don't know if I can do one and not the other, if they're exclusive, but let me know what you guys think. In the meantime, I'm gonna go investigate Frisco a bit. I'm gonna see what this town has to offer, because this town has been foreshadowed this entire game. The great land of Frisco. I wanna see what it's all about. Frisco Nation. Oh, this is a nice station too. We have a train that runs to it yet. Oh, okay. What is read that projectionist wanted too is already in the works. <laughs> oh God, what's this? Can I go in here? Oh, hello, sir. Nice saloon you have. Well, I'll be a new face. I'm Clutesy. Make yourself at home. Thanks. I'm Fozzy Ford. Now you're new to town. Oh, I've been helping the Manifest Destiny get the train tracks laid, so uh, we're very, very close, but I haven't quite finished it yet. Sounds like you could use the train. Uh, Clutesy, I sure could. What do you haven't got in? What's with the huge brawl going out, out over there? Uh, what can you tell me about Frisco? What can you tell me about Frisco first? We'll get to the other two. The other two things in a second. Oh, it's a fine town. Found the name Samson Frisco found it about way back when the mines first opened, but out this way, and everyone caught that fever. Mining fever? Yep, that kind you get from breathing too much dirt. Frisco has it was a doctor, you see. Ah, oh, gotcha. Gotcha. What can you tell me about that brawl over there? Oh, them fellas always blowing off some steam. I, I just let them go ahead and get their aggressions out. So long as they keep it over there and away from the front tree is what I've got left. I see. I see. What have you got? New Amsterdam. What is that? Increased muscle. Ooh. Miss Callity and I. Ooh. These are even better than the, the bruise from Dirtwater, I think. But nine? That's a lot. We could have like 18 because I think the... The last custom stand also gave nine. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of mysticality for a day. This is this a platoon? Oh boy, another platoon. Let's go. Um, what's with the excitement? I've given up. This is the last platoon of the game, and I'm not going to try to convince you not to be the most disgusting person on earth anymore. Let's go. Let's do this. Yeah, search that filthy platoon. You kneel down to the floor and throw your arms into the platoon, giving the greasy brass bucket a great big hug. How about a kiss? Would you like to kiss it? You know it, baby. Oh, you pucker up and give this with a great big kiss right on the rim. Ah, oh. oh, the the imagery. Ah, uh. is your talking mom? We'll leave that up to you. Even without it, it tastes like a burning horse. Why would you know what that tastes like? Okay, I know you do, friend. If it was any legal in this country, I let you marry that spittoon and have a beautiful romantic honeymoon night with it. But unfortunately. You're going to have to sell for wearing it as a hat. Yes, please. Give me the spittoon hat. You flip the beautiful brass bucket over and slap it onto your head. Ugh. Dress it yourself and hop around to back. Oh, spit. Ugh. It was washed over your face like a sewage wa <coughs> waterfall. Oh my god. Soaking your clothes, running down your collar, and slithering into your underwear, filling up your boots. I can't even force myself to describe it in any more detail than that. You are the world's foulest human being. Congratulations, you spittoon hat. Hooray. Oh, okay. How is, how is that hat? How is that, is that a good hat? Uh, this one gives me six mystically. Three moxie. Ooh, it's actually good. It's actually pretty good. I need the moxie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna don the... The spittoon, oh my god, look how glorious I look! You can see my face once more! Fuzzy Ford has returned to his beautiful state! Oh god, this... I don't know how to feel anymore, even the game is disappointed in my... my decisions! <laughs> hey fellas, it's real Frisco... Frasca, dive in, oh! We're fighting! Oh my god, I'm actually dripping with the spittoon! Oh, that's gross! Oh my god! Oh my god, Gary's dead. All right, I thought this wasn't gonna be that bad. The one guy only hit me for like two. I should probably kill the other guy then, right? Cause he does a lot more damage. Oh, can I, can I hog tie him? Can I hog tie him? This will disable for two rounds. Rope him up. Do it. Tie him up. Get him, hog tie him. Nice. Can I, can I burn him? Come to target and carry scene. Uh, being a flammable. I'm gonna douse him. And then I'm gonna light him with 
with a match. I'm gonna lay him on fire. This seems really violent, but uh, gotta gotta do what you got gotta do. Lay him on fire. Take that. I don't think that does much. One damage. Great. Okay. All right, we got him. Nice. We uh broke up their fight that really wasn't bothering anyone. It was just letting them get off aggression. We're such such a great hero. We got some Deacon whiskey, Deacon wine, Deacon tequila, and a handful of loose teeth. Nice. Oh, they're still fighting. They're still going. I can keep diving in. Huh. I wonder if it's like that skeleton pit where each time I dive in, there's more skeletons. Well, unfortunately, we've run out of time for today's episode and time to, to brawl out and frisco and explore. <laughs> We got a lot done, but that means I put a spittoon on my head, so I don't really know how much I accomplished in anything today. Remember to tell me what I should do in the train. Should I just fight the old man, or should I try and get safe cracking up to, to see what's in the next cart? Either way, thank you all so much for joining me in today's adventure in Wessel Loathing. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you enjoyed the rest of the area as well. I hope to see you in our next adventure. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs>